everyone. My name is Patrick. You're watching the Oilers Rundown. Today, I wanted to go over an article from Daniel Nugent Bowman over at The Athletic. He sat down with Edmonton Oilers GM and President Ken Holland to talk about the trade deadline. I think Daniel Nugent Bowman is my favorite Oilers reporter. His articles are always filled with a ton of information. He asks great questions, and today's article is certainly no different. Lots of key points from Ken Holland, some great information on what the Edmonton Oilers are going to do with the trade deadline. So I've picked out a few key points that I think are the biggest ones, but you guys can check out the full article in its entirety in the description below. So with all that said, let's get started. So let's start with the first question. Does Ken Holland have full autonomy to make changes? His response, I'm working hand in hand with Jeff. We talk lots every day. But ultimately, when it comes time to pull the trigger, obviously, Jeff Jackson and I will be working hand in hand. So, we know Ken Holland might not be here going forward. He's in the final year of his five-year contract. Mark Hunter has come up as a potential name to be taking over for the Edmonton Oilers. We'll see what happens. They've got internal candidates and all that kind of stuff. But focusing on today, yes, Jeff Jackson, CEO of the Edmonton Oilers, has to be involved in the decisions because... Whatever decisions Ken Holland makes at this trade deadline clearly affects the Edmonton Oilers going forward. So Jeff Jackson, Ken Holland working hand in hand on all the decisions at this year's trade deadline. And the next question I picked out involves goaltending. Are you exploring the market at all for another goalie? Ken's response, no, I am not exploring the market at all. Ken Holland is clearly comfortable with Stuart Skinner, Calvin Pickard, Jack Campbell, and Olivier Rodrigue as the Oilers' goaltending depth going into this trade deadline, going into these playoffs. So, as I've said many times, I would feel more comfortable if the Oilers brought in another goaltender, but it's been our belief here probably over the past month or so that the Edmonton Oilers weren't going to explore the trade market, and Ken Holland clearly solidifies that response here. The Edmonton Oilers will not be bringing in another goaltender, so... Hopefully Stuart Skinner can rise to the challenge here. Hopefully Calvin Pickard can continue to perform well. If both guys falter, hopefully Jack Campbell or Olivier Rodrigue can step up and take the reins. Next up, will the Oilers keep some space on the cap available to pay down the bonuses due to Connor Brown and Corey Perry? Ken's response, we're pushing any way we can to be the best we can be this year. To save a few hundred thousand dollars on bonuses going into next year, I don't know what that's going to do. Clearly, the Oilers' focus is on the here and now. Yes, Connor Brown's bonuses, the most out of anybody, is really going to affect the Edmonton Oilers next year. But if the Oilers can find a way to win the Stanley Cup this year, Connor Brown's bonuses become kind of a distant problem, right? You have to deal with them, but you can live with it. If the Oilers don't succeed this year, they become a bigger hurdle to come over. So we'll see what happens. But the Oilers' focus is on the here and now and making this year's team the best they can possibly be. And the next question I picked out, is it your desire to add a high impact player? And by that, I mean a top four defenseman or a top six forward. And Ken's response, so we'll explore. We're open to forwards or defense. We'll see what's available. The cap's a factor, the assets are a factor. You can't just blow all your draft picks out in one year because the next year, these same questions come and you've got to have some draft capital to be able to do something. So from that, I think we can take that Ken Holland is just simply going for the best player available. I think Chris Tanev was the best defenseman available, but obviously he's gone now to the Dallas Stars. Pavel Bushnevich and Jake Gensel are likely your best forwards out there. We were hearing from Frank Saravalli last night that the Edmonton Oilers are out on Jake Gensel, or he's very unlikely anyway. I think Pavel Bushnevich is the big name target the Oilers should go for. He's going to cost you a lot, but he's got some term. You'll have him for two playoff runs, so he's the guy in my opinion. There's no real big defenseman out there. The biggest name is probably Sean Walker. We know the Oilers have been involved in Sean Walker talks pretty much right from the very beginning, so if the Oilers walk away from this deadline with Pavel Bushnevich, Sean Walker, and maybe a Nick Dowd, I think that's a very successful deadline, but we'll see what happens here. Obviously, the Oilers not focusing in on any one particular area. Ken Holland's biggest thing is just making this team deeper. And to wrap up, I thought I'd just pick out some keynotes from the article to go over with you guys. Regarding Philip Broberg, Broberg is ready to go. He just needs an opportunity. Ken Holland wouldn't commit to that opportunity being this year or next year. 
Obviously, this year happens if there's a trade or injury. A Brett Kulak trade opens the door for Philip Broberg, or if one of the Oilers' six main guys goes down with an injury during the regular season or playoffs, we will likely see Broberg as one of the first guys inserted into the lineup there. Ken Holland repeats throughout the interview that they are committed to trying to win. They're going to make this team the best they possibly can, and Ken Holland feels that this trade deadline will be a success if they can bring in one or two pieces that ultimately make the team deeper. Well, those are my takeaways from the interview, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Is Ken Holland right not to be going for another goaltender? Do you think he should be using more of the Oilers' draft capital, or is it smart to hold on to a few pieces for next year so the Oilers have some trade bait next year? Let me know your thoughts on the interview overall in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.